Hey guys, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today I want to do a brief video demonstration on how to rig a Carolina rig. I've been doing a lot of bass fishing lately and it's been a nice change in pace. So follow along and I'll show you how I do it. Alright guys, so here we are. I have everything pretty much laid out for you on how to rig up your Carolina rig. So a few of the things that you're going to need is a bullet weight, a bead of your preference, a soft plastic, preferably a, a floating bait, uh, either a worm or a lizard, a swivel, a leader, and a hook. And now your hook size is going to be uh, dependent on the size of your bait. So the first things first is you grab your main line. This is my main line. You put your bullet weight on, like so. Then you want to take your bead and you want to slide that on right after your bullet weight. All right. Now I've already pre-rigged um, my swivel and leader. Let me trim this off here. So this is my swivel. You would tie your main line directly to your swivel. And you can use a blood knot or any knot that you're comfortable with. Just make sure you guys take the time to tie your knots right. I've seen so many quality fish lost due to you know knots not being properly tied so moisten it down and just cinch it down until it comes snug on on whatever you're tying it on trim your tags all right so now you should be left with your bullet weight your bead your swivel now your leader your leader is usually going to be about a foot or two long and that's really a preference thing and that'll run to your worm hook now this is a 3 out gamagatsu hook you can use whatever hook that you prefer and today for demonstration purposes we're using just a regular zoom worm all right now how to rig this worm you just take the hook and stick it in the top of the head of the bait and as it starts to round you would pull the barb or the hook through the center of the bait Okay, so now you want to push your bait up the shaft of the hook and turn the hook at the same time so that way your barb is facing the plastic, like so. Now you take your index finger and your thumb and grab the bait and you want to push it up. So ideally you want this hook to lay flush, like so. So you push it up and stick it through the center of the bait and it'll come out just like that. So now to make this bait weedless, you just want to take your thumb and your index finger and press it up and allow that barb just to hide under the skin, just under the skin to where it's now weedless. So this will crawl along the bottom and um, you, know, you won't be snagging on every little obstacle and piece of grass. So now when the fish strikes it, it'll expose that hook allowing for a solid hook set. All right, guys, so this Carolina rig, first cast. It's not a big old boy, but this is what we got. First cast on the Carolina rig. And we got this little guy. So this is literally a very effective rig, guys. And look, come up here. This is what I was using. The very, very first cast. And we got a nice little bass out of it. So I'm going to get to it, catch a couple more here. Hey, are you yeah. Oreo. Second cast. And y'all see that this produces monsters. This is a beast and this Carolina rig I've, I've literally I casted it twice and I'm producing fish now this isn't a monster obviously but this is the future and my dog by the way you see him down there he thinks he's a Labrador what are you doing in the water all right shall we go for a third cast 
I guess we will.